When conservatives demand civility from protesters, when they demand people maintain the politeness and kindness and niceness towards the political class, all they demonstrate is that they view workers and protesters and people who have a sense of justice as little more than pawns and little more than peasants in the social class system. When we see people in the political world deporting immigrants, human beings, separating families from their children, when we see them imprisoning and brutalising marginalised people, stripping the rights of LGBTQ people, when we see them redacting and reducing the role of regulation, making capitalism even more brutal than it is to accrue more capital, when we see all these things happening, and we demand change. For them to say to us, oh well, you need to be more civil, you need to be politer, is not a legitimate argument, but merely a sign that they have nothing but their class to argue with. They don't have justification for their decisions and their actions. They merely believe they, as the ruling class, as the wealthy elite, the powerful, have the right to rule, the divine right, much like the monarchs of 16th and 17th century England. When we see this happening, it is a sign that our leadership, our social class, the class system itself is unjust. And this is what constitutes capitalism. It is ultimately a class system, a system designed to imprison the worker, to make them the pawn of the capital, of the capitalist, to extract profit from them, to treat them as little more than a cog in the machine of capitalism. When we see this, and when we subsequently see the problems, the massive societal issues that is inflicted across capitalism, and we see people at the top of society, the wealthy, the political class, the businessmen, the landlords, the TNCs, the CEOs, all those things, and we see them all demanding respect and to cut back on uh, edgy and too far jokes and to be polite to people who are actively ruining the lives of millions of people. And we see that, we have to reject it. We have to realise that justice does not come through order, that achieving a fair life for all is never going to happen within this system. That if we are polite to the people who are oppressing us, to who are ruining the lives of immigrants and marginalised people, you are actively separating families, a mother and a child split simply through the fascist enforcement and fascist force of ICE. When we see this happening, it is clear that maintaining politeness and playing within the rules will only allow fascism to grow, will only allow the suppression to get worse. And if we are ever to fight back properly, we have to take real action. We have to actively say no, stand against the system, can no longer conform to the ideas of civility. Too many right-wing people, too many conservatives demand this adherence to politics simply based on the, you know, the label, the idea that, oh, these people are wealthier or politicians, therefore we should be listening to them. Absolutely not. People should be judged for their actions, and if their actions are separating human beings from their families, treating them as cattle, describing them in a way that makes them seem unhuman, we have to fight back against that. We have to say, no, these things are not more important than human lives. And ultimately, this comes through the deconstruction of capitalism. This has to come through an, through an anti-capitalist position, because human beings are not commodities. Human labour should, should not be exploited. And while we hold these principles, while we allow ourselves to maintain this class system and maintain the system of exploitation that is capitalism, we only devalue ourselves as human beings. So when people talk of civility, when people ask us to remain polite in the face of oppression, know that the longer we do, the more injustice grows. The growth of fascism itself comes through tolerance and allowance for fascism to grow, through people being unwilling to challenge the injustice in society, being unable to recognise capitalism itself as the purveyor of fascism. And subsequently, people maintaining the social class, people expecting politeness to political politicians simply through their title alone. The longer we last, the longer we survive, the longer we have a chance.
but can only do this if we reject capitalism and ultimately if we reject the class system and the civility argument that ties us to maintaining the respect and ability for politicians to act in a fascist way. Change can come, but never through being civil towards the oppressors. And the more we stick to that, the worse things will get, and the harsher and harder it will be to make real progress.